All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to connect your DSLR camera to your Raspberry Pi via uh, USB cable and use a software called GPhoto to capture and download uh, pictures to the Pi itself. Then if you want to do uh, like an FTP or whatnot to transfer the uh, images, uh, I like using uh, Win SCP. So I have my camera hooked up, turned on, plugged into the Pi. I'm running a uh, Nikon D7000. I just got it laying on the table here, so <clears throat> you want to do an update, upgrade. So after you do that, we need to uh, download some uh, dependencies here. So I have everything installed because this will take a little bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll post the links... Uh, I'll post a link in the description to my website with the link with the commands and everything and and uh, and all so after you install the dependencies now we need to uh, grab some stuff here off of github so <clears throat> once you do that and we need to go in and uh, make make it and all that but like I said, these command this uh, takes a while to do. So we just need to do that, and then we need to run the following command here. Then after this command, you need to run the uh, auto configure. So. Then run, we'll run uh, configure, then make, then sudo make install. And it'll take a while to uh, do this. I'm running a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, so once we're out of that, we'll need to, uh, once that's installed, we need to uh, clone another one. And basically run the same sort of commands for this game. Uh, G photo. So after we do that, which is pretty the easy part, so we're we'll just uh, to save some time. Like I said, we'll just uh, bypass that. I'll throw the links, the commands on my website here. So we need to go into this file here now. If there's nothing in this file, add the following. If there is something in the file as you can see here we don't need to do anything so we can just control X out of that <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to run the following command then we need to run this command here which will uh, generate the uh, UDEV list. So we'll clear that. And then we need to run basically the same sort of command. <clears throat> so if everything goes good with the install, you should be able to run this G2 version command and if it shows this sort of stuff, then you should be okay to keep going. If you run into problems, you may want to maybe start over or double check that you did everything correctly. Now, now that I have my uh, camera plugged in via USB, it's turned on. And uh, now we need to see if the uh, Pi can detect it. 
and as you can see it sees it which is great so <clears throat> the next command we can run we can see if it'll take a picture so I'll move the camera over here to the microphone so you can hear it so right there just downloaded it and there's the uh, file we'll do it again <clears throat> so so other than that that's about it uh, I'll throw the link in the description to my website for this uh, with the uh, commands and everything so uh, hopefully this helps out the software supports a big list of uh, DSLR cameras so more than likely yours is probably on there if you got an icon or a Canon I'm not sure about Sony or Pentex or anything like that, but uh, definitely Canon or Nikon, you should be pretty much all right. I thought about this earlier. <clears throat> you can run this on like a, a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, you can actually kind of make this like a wireless remote to take the picture. I mean, I have you know, the wireless remotes and everything to uh, capture photos. But uh, you could basically have a Pi that's connected to your um, camera then have the Pi as a uh, hotspot. Configure the Wi-Fi to a uh, hotspot then you can, uh, well an access point I guess, then you can uh, hook your uh, phone to it via Wi-Fi then SSH into the PAR and run your commands that way so you wouldn't have to be tethered right to the PI itself so I think this program can do a fair amount of different things so I'll uh, post the information on my website so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and uh i'll be back